we're back on my favorite subject the rear suspension now I've uh, put some I've had some slightly uh, sort of custom sleeves created hopefully you can see it in in this bush here um, it might not be obvious but the um, the center hole is offset uh, by one and a half mil so um, I had two of those made, put one on each side, fiddled around a bit, and actually they line up perfectly so well that I can put the bolts in and turn them with my fingers. So the alignment's great. So you might be wondering why have I dropped the subframe again? Um, well, the reason is because I wanted to uh, run a plug tap. So that's a tap, tap that taps all the way to, a, to the end of a blanked off hole. I wanted to run a plug tap up through the um, the nut thing or the retainer thing in the chassis so that I was creating as absolutely as much thread as I possibly could and by doing that it means that instead of using these the standard standard length bolts I'm going to use a longer bolt so these are 140 mil long. They're the correct grade of steel, 10.9. Um, believe it or not, I had to send to the US to get them. I couldn't find any source in the UK. I was going to use threaded bar, which I managed to find a source for 10.9 uh, threaded bar, um, but they wouldn't sell me anything less than a pallet load. <laughs> so in the end, I bought these bolts instead from from the states um oh on that on that unbelievable shipping i ordered them on a tuesday and i think i had them on friday and okay i, I paid i think i paid 40 40 pounds to have them shipped but that was i just thought that was amazing so my job today is to uh, jack the thing back up into, jack the subframe back up into the chassis and start to bolt things up and uh, just to check that everything works okay. In particular, I need to make sure that I actually have enough sort of depth in the uh, recept receptor in here, which I'm going to bolt up through. I need enough to actually contain obviously the whole bolt and provide um, the right level of torque on the insert. It's back in, hoorah! Uh, not fully bolted up actually. So these are, I showed the new bolt earlier, what I found was if I just put the bolt in without any washers and I just put it up through the and uh, these new custom inserts and I tighten it right up, um, it starts to bind in the in the top of the uh, fastener that's up into the I don't know what to call it it's like a cylinder with lots of um, thread in it it starts to bind on the top of that before it it actually grips on the um, inner on the insert there's a gap between the base of the head of the bolt and the insert and the gap is about five mil so in fact, one of these washers plus this thing is probably enough to take up that slack and to give me the, the uh, you know, the uh, torque I need to torque onto the centre insert. Be but because I'm slightly nervous that it's not going to be enough or the bolt might stretch or something, I'm going to put in an additional washer. So I'm going to bring two of those washers into this put the bolt through the two and then bolt the whole lot up into the uh, body of the car. This is all just belt and braces stuff because I'm worried about the damage that was done to the threads when I crossed the threads and locked the, you know, got the bolts um, stuck in, in, the, um, in the chassis. So I just want to make sure I'm using every millimetre of thread I can possibly use. Um, and I've even, as I said earlier, I've cut more thread using a plug tap. Here's what the underside looks like now, the uh, rear suspension. You can see the brake lines are all in. Uh, the hard line, which I had to renew, comes across here. 
and then over to here. Uh, I just got a couple of new clips for that. Um, what else is interesting? Probably nothing. The only other thing is obviously the drive shafts have got to go in um, and no diff at the moment. Um, I decided to lift the subframe into place without um, the diff installed because quite honestly doing it on my own it was a pretty it was a bit of a struggle just getting the subframe in if i had have had the diff in it as well i think i, I don't think i i could have done it so uh, all looking good so far i thought i should add a couple of final notes here the first one is that uh, i installed the subframe without the springs um, in place and uh, then i dropped the camber arm um, and put the springs in and then put the camber arm back on. Um, I hadn't talked up the camber, camber arm bolts anyway because you need to talk them to 165 newton meters and I couldn't really do that with the uh, subframe sort of loose on the floor so I was always going to do it once it was back in the car. Um, I probably could have juggled it all and got the springs in and in fact I had done that once before um, as I as I raised the subframe but I did find it easier the way I did it so that might be something you want to consider. The other mistake that you might notice here is the shock absorber has the adjuster pointing forward. Um, that's a bit of a mistake because uh, once you've got the drive shaft in you can't get to the adjuster. <laughs> so actually I turned them round so they face backwards. Um, so just a couple of notes.